Hill's home. Inside, firefighters find the body of a 65-year-old renter. Investigators also found something else in the home, a whole lot of marijuana. Tonight, they're trying to figure out if this grow operation sparked the blaze. Fox 2's Jessica Dupnack with the latest. When they say quiet neighborhood, this is the definition. So to have a deadly fire here was a shock. But when neighbors found out there was a marijuana grow operation in the same house, they couldn't believe it. I never would have expected this, ever. Typically, when Sarah Kraft is picking up her kids from the bus stop, it doesn't include police, firefighters, and news crews. I'm really quite shocked, to be honest. We live in a very good neighborhood. First, a house fire at this home off of Spring Hill near Drake in Farmington Hills. Firefighters Firefighters found a man dead inside of the burning home Monday morning. He's been removed and taken to the medical examiners for identification. They're not saying if the victim is the same 65-year-old man renting the home. This fire investigation quickly turned into a drug investigation when they found dozens of marijuana plants in the basement. No one around here knew that was going on. My son walks by this house every single day. Firefighters can't say the fire is connected to the grow operation. The plants were in the basement and the fire started on the main level. Police are working to find out if it was a legal grow op or not. Either way, Sarah isn't happy. This is not something that should be going on here in a subdivision, mm -hmm. Farmington schools. Mm -hmm. It's very upsetting. She tells Fox 2 she will be keeping a closer eye on what's happening right in her neighborhood. For this to happen really puts me on the edge. Yeah. and alarms me to really be more on top of what's happening. In Farmington Hills, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News. I'm meteorologist.